two of the people I'd like to, you know, talk about is my uncle James, who was one of the golden 13. He was, uh, which the golden 13 were the first, they were 13 of them first black naval officers. Um, he started out history with, um, because education, either you, they said you either teach or preach. And so, uh, he went to Bethune Cookman. He put in that education in us. Uh, we all have gone to uh, HBCUs. I'm very proud of that. Um, and I think that's very great. Uh, my other uncle also on my grandmother's side started uh, Black Entrepreneurship. And I'd say that would be in the 40s uh, when he started the highway and then uh, their artists, they came up with a production. They was, it started out with him. It went to 26 artists, very rich history there. Um, pitches. Now, my mother, my father died when I was younger. And my mother, when I was in my 20s, um, was stricken with Alzheimer's. And she had Alzheimer's for about 20 years. So a lot of the family history and a lot of things were lost. Um, with that in mind is why I started making these family trees. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah, just to kind of make sure that if anything ever happened, we'd have it on paper. But I have it all in my head. You have it all in your head. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, we, um, my grandmother, and this is my grandmother with uh, my daughter, Phoenix, who was named after my grandmother Phoenix and uh, my son. This is them with her. And she lived beyond 100, I think about 106. But she lied about her age because she did look good. She worked until she was in her late 80s when we took her car keys away. She moved to California and, you know, she's like, oh, she didn't like it here on the east side. She wanted fast life or whatever. She was a fast. Um, but we did obtain her birth certificate, but it's not, everything on it is not real because she was able to choose how old she wanted to be because she wanted to be younger than she actually was. And we found that out.